Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing my July favorites where I talk about my favorite beauty products for the month of July. This one's kind of an exciting one because it's more so my travel favorites. All of July, I have been traveling. So a lot of these are stuff that I've just been loving on the road. So if you want to see the stuff that I've been using this month, then just keep watching. So I spent two weeks in Spain and then two weeks in Hawaii this month. So I was really only using the makeup that I had brought with me. So a lot of these products aren't brand new. They're not brand new on my channel, but they are products that were tried and true, really good in very humid weather that I just really, really love. So that's why I'm excited to talk about some of these products. A few of them are new and a few of them are old. So let's start off with the face. I have two foundations that I wanted to talk about with you guys. So the first one, this foundation is fairly new to me. I did buy it at the last Sephora VIB sale, but I really fell in love with it because I only brought two to three foundations with me. So I used this a ton. I'd never really like wore it and thought about it and just saw how amazing it was. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm so late to talking about this because months and months ago, people were talking about how fantastic this foundation is. And I took a while to pick it up and oh my gosh, it is fantastic. It's more of a medium coverage. It has a very beautiful luminous finish. This is what I'm wearing right now and as you can see like it is not full coverage. You can still see my freckles. I do have some breakouts that are peeking through a little bit but I don't mind a nice medium coverage foundation and this is beautiful for having more of a luminous finish. It wears very well. It feels super light on the skin and I like that you can get a very light coverage with it as well and you can build it up to something a little bit more medium. I just really enjoy how natural it feels and looks on the skin and the wear time is pretty impressive and just the finish of it is very nice and I really feel like this is a unique foundation in my collection. I have thoroughly been enjoying this and it took me months to jump on the bandwagon but this is such a good foundation. The other foundation that I've been loving is not a foundation really. It's a skin tint. So this is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. So I did a couple of each vacations and this was fantastic for my no makeup makeup days. I'll post a photo right now of my no makeup makeup look and this is what I was wearing in that photo. Now I do feel like I go a little bit overboard with this because it is a skin tint and I just want it to be a foundation. <laughs> I will like find myself layering it and I'm like chill out Morgan if you want a tint this is what you have to use you cannot use this looking for coverage because that's not what you're gonna get but once you accept the fact that this is a skin tint you realize how beautiful it is now to get the maximum amount of coverage I do like to use my hands to apply this I feel like it applies it the most smooth to the skin as well and then I will finish with a beauty blender but I always use my skin to spread it to get the optimal amount of pigmentation that this has to offer but it is beautiful it's a little bit oily at the end of the day for my taste it's not necessarily long wearing but this is perfect for vacation i feel like on vacation a lot of times you tend to not really care what you look like or you just want really light makeup that's not going to feel heavy this is perfect so i would like roll out of bed in the morning put this on it has spf 20 in it just kind of rub it in my face a little bit of setting powder brush my brows out, mascara, lip gloss, a little bit of blush, and you're good to go. This is absolutely beautiful for a no makeup makeup day. But like I said, if you're looking for coverage, this doesn't have it, but it looks so beautiful and luminous and healthy on the skin, and it has SPF, which is perfect for the summer. One thing I do not like about it, though, is the applicator. You have to roll it, like press it, and then roll it, and I just think it's dumb. I'm constantly going back, trying to get more product. I would have just preferred to have it in a regular foundation bottle. I guess it's a good idea, but I, I really hate this packaging. This is one of those products where it's like, good product, stupid packaging. And to be honest, I feel like it looked a little bit cheap too. But anyways, this is a pretty good product. I like it quite a lot. For concealer, this is another product that I was so late to the bandwagon on, but this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I picked this up because Sephora just released their entire shade range, I believe, in a little $13 deluxe sample size. And I like to buy products in this size because I don't use up products. But honestly, I feel like I'm going to purchase this in the full size because I've been 
been using it every single day. This has to be running low, but it is a beautiful concealer. If you do not know, this was the concealer before all concealers. It was the best selling concealer. Everybody recommended it. Then there was this whole concealer craze going on, but NARS is an OG favorite, cult favorite, and this was my first time trying it, believe it or not, and I love it. It's a little bit more dry and matte than I typically prefer as far as concealers go, but I feel like it does such a good job of not creasing on my under eyes. By the way, I have the shade Light 2.75 Canal. It's what's under my eyes right now. It definitely is a little bit more mattifying. The shade is a little bit more brightening, but I really love the finish of this and how it wears. I think the wear time to me is what is most impressive about this. And I feel like I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this concealer, but for me, I find that it works really well. So I am very happy with this concealer. It's one of my favorites now. I cannot believe it took me so long to try out this concealer because it is good. Traveling, I like a little bit more of a natural bronze, cream products, things like that. Something you can throw on, blend out with your fingers. I have had this in a previous favorites not too long ago, but I did just want to kind of re-mention it because it was one of my travel favorites. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick and Baked. This is the perfect shade for my skin tone. It blends out like a dream. It's just so easy to use. The skin tint paired with this and the next product I'm going to show you is amazing for a no makeup makeup look and I love a good powder bronzer but something about a cream bronzer just really sinks into the skin and it looks just so much more natural and I love this it is beautiful if I haven't gotten new on this already hopefully this video will do it because it is an amazing cream bronzer and I'm picky about cream bronzers and this is good. Another liquid product that I have to show you, this is new to me, I purchased it while I was on vacation so you'll see it in an upcoming haul. But this is the Giorgio Armani A Blush in the shade number 51. I've always been attracted to these. I've heard things here and there about this. And then I went to Sephora to pick up the Pat McGrath foundation when I was in Hawaii and they didn't have it in stock yet so I was just at the store <laughs> and depressed and so I picked this up kind of as retail therapy and I'm really really happy with it so this is just like a really sheer liquid blush and I wasn't too sure about it like I liked it in stores and then I brought it home and I was like mm, am I really gonna like a product like this and this is a liquid I actually don't think I've ever used like a liquid blush but this is just just beautiful when you want a really soft and natural blush to the skin so skin like so skin tint bronzer and this is going to give you the most skin like natural complexion so my favorite way to apply it is just to kind of run it in a big circle on my hand take my beauty blender put it on top and then just apply that straight to the cheeks i think it applies it the most natural but with that combo of those three products it just looks like skin it doesn't look like you're wearing anything you just look better i don't know i haven't really tried this product in many ways but i will say the way that i just mentioned it with those products it is beautiful so I do want to use this more in different ways with different products to really give you guys a final opinion but I was loving this this month for my no makeup makeup days powder blush and bronzer so this is an old product an oldie but a goodie I actually didn't really use this too often until this month this product has come out to shine this is the Too Faced natural face palette and the reason that I brought it with me on both vacations was it has everything bronzer blush and highlight. Now, I don't love every color in here, but I just like the palette overall. I like the mirror for traveling, and I like grabbing for these colors just as I need it on vacation. So this got so much use. It's crazy, and I love it. So my favorite products in here, just to be a little bit more specific, Sunny Honey is one of my current favorite bronzers. I've been using it every single day. It's what I'm using right now. I think it is gorgeous just really natural easy to blend and then I've been loving these two blushes I use it in my get ready for a luau I use this blush because I wanted something more neutral and then I use pink wink right here today because I wanted something a little bit more pinky on my eyes and I just like that you have a neutral option and a pink option and I love a more pinky blush so this palette was perfect for me I will admit I'm not the craziest in the world about the highlighters I just wish they would have put a champagne toned color in and 
instead there's something really gold and one that's really pink. I'm actually wearing the pink right now and it is pretty but I just think for this to be more of a well-rounded travel face palette I would have added more of a champagne-y highlight but other than that it's really pretty. I don't really like this color right here but the rest I found myself using a ton the past month. This is really like the only thing I've been using basically every single day when I'm going for powder makeup products and it's so good and I mean we've forgotten about it because there's so many palettes out there like this but I really like it. It smells really good and I did check I believe on Ulta. I will verify that with you guys down in the description box but I believe at Ulta this was on sale. Last I checked for like 50% off so it was like 20 something dollars. So if you are in need of something like this definitely purchase this palette for 50% off because it is worth the full price. I think it is lovely and it definitely got its money's worth for me over this past month. So I did want to share that with you guys. I almost didn't put it in because I feel like it was kind of boring but I mean I've legitimately been loving it. So the next product is a I guess more of a skincare product slash setting spray. This is the Super Goop Setting Mist with SPF 50. So it's a setting spray that has sunscreen in it, basically SPF. I mean, don't use this alone. This isn't going to make you not have sunburn or protect your face. It's just a mist, but it's not hurting anything to have this on your skin. And occasionally I would forget to put sunscreen on, not bad, I know. And this would just make me feel a little bit more protected, a little bit more comfortable with the fact that I didn't put on sunscreen. Like I said, don't recommend not putting on sunscreen. This shouldn't be what you use, but this is just another layer of defense. It's really minty so sometimes it'll like burn my eyes a little bit which sounds like horrible but it's really not that bad but it isn't the most pleasant spray to put on but I just felt very comfortable using this this month since it is so sunny and I was out walking all the time. This was just an extra layer of defense. I would bring it with me because it is quite cooling and refreshing and I would just spray my face as the day went on to keep a little bit of SPF on. I have mine in a travel size. I have one in a full size as well. This got a ton of use from me and if you're out on the sun a lot and you wear makeup I would definitely recommend getting this because you can kind of reapply a little bit of extra SPF throughout the day without having to take your makeup off. So let's move to eyeshadow palettes. I packed a lot of eyeshadow palettes with me because I put them on my carry-on because I don't want anything to happen to them or for them to break. I have a pretty big carry-on and a lot of space so I put in a lot of eyeshadows but these are the ones that have stood out to me. So the first two weeks I went to Spain and these were the only two eyeshadows that I brought so I did want to mention them. The Edit palettes from Viseart because look how tiny they were. So I was packing for minimalism when I went to Spain because I just didn't want to take up a bunch of room, have to carry a bunch of stuff because I was traveling by myself. So this was all I brought as far as eyeshadows. Honestly, I wouldn't bring one over the other. I definitely would bring both of these because it expanded the types of looks I could do. I found myself grabbing for both when I was doing one look because, you know, one palette had a cream color but I wanted something a little bit more pinky toned. So I have to say I would kind of recommend getting both because I think they are an awesome combo. If I had to pick, I do prefer the warm edits, but these are the most perfect palettes for traveling. They are so tiny and you get so many colors because, I mean, the pants are really tiny. For Vizio, this is priced very fair and they're just so tiny and you get so many colors. These aren't my favorite, favorite palettes Vizio has come out with, but just for the sake of traveling, I used these a ton this month. Now, these next three palettes are not very travel friendly, but let me explain. So this first one I actually didn't even use when I was on vacation. There was a few days in between and I just really fell in love with this palette and you guys seemed very interested in it so I did want to mention it. Uh, this is the Kaleidos Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green. I do have a whole tutorial on my Instagram that you can check out. But these are the most beautiful green shades. This color scheme is everything and the quality of these are really great. I think what stands out with this brand is their shimmer shades. The formula is so good, super shiny. Let me show you these two shimmers and I'm a sucker for green eyeshadows. So this whole color story was everything to me. They do have two other palettes as well. I have not gotten time to try those yet. This is the only one that I've tried, but I imagine I will love those as well. But this color story just in particular really stood out to me. So that is why I wanted to mention it. These are getting my stamp of approval and they are coming out with two more that I'm so excited about. There's like one teal one that, oh, it's gorgeous. So that one wasn't travel, but these next two I loved while I was traveling. They are bigger palettes 
palettes. So not necessarily the most travel friendly, but the color schemes were travel friendly. So this first one is an older palette. I used it in my last video as well. And this is the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. And a lot of people didn't like this palette. And I will admit there are flaws to this palette, but I really liked it for when I was traveling because one, you get a giant mirror. I was using this mirror all the time. But two, I just really like the colors that were available to me. Now the colors that are a little bit not so good are down here. She has some weirder formulas. This one is not a very good formula, but all of her mattes are beautiful. I didn't find myself doing too many crazy eye looks, so I would just grab one or two of the mattes, and the matte formula is so smooth. There's something about this formula that just smooths over the eyelids. Like, it doesn't emphasize any creasiness or anything like that. It smooths your whole lid. So these mattes are beautiful. They are the perfect tones for just natural eye makeup. And then you did see while I was getting ready for my loop, video I just went for this bottom row because I was in a tropical place so I felt it was very appropriate to use these tropical colors and I just liked having those options but this palette was a great palette to travel with for those reasons I would really only recommend traveling with this palette if you can bring it on your carry-on a little bit bigger but you can slide it in your carry-on just to give a little extra assurance that your eyeshadows aren't going to break because Natasha Denona's eyeshadows are really soft so they aren't travel friendly in that regard but if you can keep it in a safe place, it was amazing to have it. And this next one, I feel like it's coming out of left field, but I really like it. I packed it last second because I was looking at my makeup palettes on my makeup shelf and um, I wanted to bring something that I didn't use a lot so it could get some love. And I pulled out this random palette and I was like, hmm, I don't use this. And this is the Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty Palette. This is from her birthday collection from last year. So she has her new birthday collection that was revealed, but this is from last year. And I purchased this last year because I think it was like one of her first palettes that had this layout with so many colors and that really excited me. And palettes with a lot of colors, I'm a sucker for. So I picked this out for vacation because there's a lot of different colors and I ended up loving this palette. Now her formula is not the best in the world, but it's a good formula. It's what I use today actually and I just really like the different types of looks that I was able to get with this palette because of the variety. For the most part I'm a neutral everyday girl and this has some neutral everyday colors which made it very easy. I wanted a soft pink look. I used these soft pink colors today. I wanted more of this pinky purple look. I used these colors. You can do a smoky eye, a hot pink eye. I just really like this combination of colors and it's not the most unique palette in my collection. These colors aren't out of this world. They're not super unique but just having them all collectively in one palette was really great for my traveling and I believe you can still get this at Ulta hopefully I'm correct so you can check the description box if it is linked I will let you know if you can still get it or not but honestly I really really have been enjoying this palette and it would be a lie of me not to mention it in this video so props to Kylie eyebrows I have one eyebrow product that I've been loving this month this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade I have mine in the shade brunette Betty which is a little bit darker than I normally go but this is why I've been loving it I actually prefer the actual pencil side so there's a marker side on one end which is what I thought was going to be what I loved about this but honestly I've been loving this pencil because it is so pigmented okay that was not a good example <laughs> but it is so pigmented, you get so much color. So I will go in with whatever I normally use. I typically like to use powder, and then I'll use this to really darken the areas that I want darkened more, or I want a little bit more precision. And sometimes there's some areas of my eyebrows where the color just doesn't go on as strong, and this does the job. So I've been loving this pencil. I really want to get this in a lighter color so I can kind of use it all over my brows because if I use this all over my brows, I'd look a little crazy. And the marker side, I don't know. I never really used a marker eyebrow pencil thing. Um, I'm not really crazy about it. I don't know if it's this one, but I just feel like it looks like I used markers on my brows. It looks like it stains my skin. It doesn't look like a hair. Really have been enjoying that. Another product that I'm late to. Last product is a lip liner. This is the Pat McGrath Done Undone lip liner. She has one of the best formulas that are long wearing, but also very smooth and creamy to apply. And I just like this because it's my lip color for when I want light makeup, but I want some definition. I 
use this to line my lips and then I'll put a clear or nude gloss on top. That's exactly what I've done with my lips today. Well, the gloss is kind of faded, but you get the idea. It just makes my lips look a little bit juicier. It's my natural color still and I've just been liking this. So that's all I have for makeup favorites. I do want to go into a couple more beauty type favorites, which are for nails. Now I hate nails. I have the ugliest nail beds. They are so tiny and I just don't have nice nail beds and I hate paying to get my nails done. It just really adds up. Nail polish on me does not last long at all, so it'd be expensive for me to upkeep that. And I hate gel polish and I hate acrylics. I've tried it all, nothing lasts on my nails. But anyways, I do have a nail polish line that I've been really into because I know I show products on my channel and I'm terrible about doing my nails. So I've been trying to keep my nails done for videos. I've not been very successful at it, but I've been trying. So I purchased a bunch of Deborah Lipman nail polishes, but there is this kit called the Bed of Roses and her nail polishes are normally $20 each. You can get a set for $36 with six colors, I do believe. The Bed of Roses is my favorite. These aren't all of the colors, but these are the, more of the tones, like neutral, mauve pink colors. And I prefer a more natural color because my nail beds are so short and my nails just don't look that nice. So I feel like using more of a neutral nude color kind of masks that while making my nails look more put together. But anyways, I really like the Deborah Lipman formula. They're very easy to apply. And the Bed of Roses set in particular, perfect colors. I just want to mention that because I've been loving that. Also, in my struggle to try and do my nails, I've gotten into these nail stickers. The brand I really like is Color Street, and they have a bunch of fun different colors. This one's dark purple with glitter. I did a geometric blue shape over vacation, and what these are is basically, it's like a nail sticker. You put it on your nail, and they last really long. Nail polish on me literally does not last more than three to four days. This lasts almost two weeks on my nails without chipping. It looks really good, and I'm very impressed with how long these last. I think it's a little extra work. Now, you don't have to wait for your nails to dry. However, it is a little bit of work to individually put the stickers on and kind of peel them to make them fit your nail, but there are definite positives to it as well. I would suggest getting the textured glitter ones because you can't see mistakes as much. I did like a solid blue color and you could see the mistakes, air bubbles, things I messed up on, but if you get these like glittery ones, they're really awesome and they look so good. I'll even use the glitter ones as like an accent nail and then put polish on the rest. I did want to mention that Ulta also sells some brands that are a little bit cheaper than Color Street as well that I picked these up from. So they're really good. I'm very impressed with these and I just wanted to mention that because it's different. Last two things. I've been wearing these two necklaces like crazy. They're both from Nordstrom. One is from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which if it didn't end already, it's about to. And then one, it was just regular. So this first one is from Kendra Scott. This was $33 with this sale. I'll link it down below, but it is beautiful. I love Kendra Scott jewelry and I just wanted a really dainty necklace. So this is just a cute little flower. And this one was kind of a pretty penny. It was like $70, but it's just this dangly necklace right here. I really, really love it. I've just been wearing these two together ever since I purchased them and I love they're so pretty. So I have gotten a couple questions in my Instagram stories about these. So there you go. I will link them down below. All right, so now it's time to talk about my favorite channel of the month. I've been watching this channel for well over a year now. I love her. I know some of you watch her, Julia Mazzucato. She is adorable. I feel like she knows about every product in the makeup world. She's tried so many different things. She's sassy. She has such dry humor, which I love. Her videos are so well edited. She has very artistic, funny, that dry humor in her editing. I think, I just, I love her videos. I think she's hilarious and she also really knows what she's talking about. You know, she's very sophisticated. She articulates very well. She's quite young. She's younger than me. She's like 18, I believe. So I'm like five years older than her because yeah, she's going in 
into college in the fall, so she should be around 18. But anyways, she's really young, but you couldn't tell. She's very mature for her age. You know, she's not afraid to give her honest opinion, and her editing is just great. Like, the quality of her videos, you can tell she takes time to make them, and I just, aesthetic. She's got a great aesthetic. So definitely check her channel out. I think you guys would really like her. Ugh. I don't think I've ever talked so much in a favorites video, but <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've sat in my studio, aka it's just a corner of my bedroom, and obviously I had a lot to say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what your favorite products were this month in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.